Whoosh. Hello, everybody. Um, what I'm going to be talking about today is things that I did as a child that I don't really understand why I did them. Kind of long, but here I go. So, whenever I got a bath, whenever I was, like, little, I used to get a cup of water, hot water, and I used to sit it off to the side and hide behind all the, like, dish liquid and everything. Not dish liquid. The, um, soaps and everything, like, the bottles, so that Mom couldn't empty it out. And then I'd come back to see if it was still warm the next day that I got a bath. Don't know why I did that, but I did. Another thing I did is, um, I took all the empty shampoo bottles, and I filled them up with water, and I pretended I was making a potion, and then I'd put it in my hair and stuff, and, um, don't, I don't know why I did that either. Maybe it was to see if I had magical powers or something. Um, did anybody ever see that episode, um, of Full House, that Michelle fell off the horse and lost her memory, and then later in the episode you found out that her memory was, um, looked exactly like her, but both twins were playing a part there. Well, when I was a kid, I had bunk beds, and I made myself fall off my bunk bed to see if I could see my memory. Don't ask why. I did it anyway. I had many marks on my head. My mom, she thought I was, like, trying to kill myself or something, jumping off my bed. And she came up upstairs, and I remember smacking my head so I could lose my memory. And I remember bawling my eyes out just so I could lose it. And so she was like, why? Why would you do that? I wanted to see my memory. <laughs> yeah. Sounded a little bit crazy. See what Full House teaches people. Whenever people were in the car, did you ever, like, look over out the window and see, like, where the pavement is? I always, like, pretend a little animal is running, and I, like, pretend it jumps over the pavement. And I, like, hold my breath while it jumps. Let me tell you something. Don't play that game while you're in the city. I also look at the power lines as I'm, like, out the window, and I pretend, like, I just watch them, and they end up going like this and meeting each other, and this it's really cool to watch, and I've done that ever since I was a little kid. And I still do it. And it's just something weird I do that I've done for a long time. Don't know why. When I was a little kid, and still sometimes now, what I do, I'll show you right here. I just clean my room so that looks nice. Basically, whenever I was getting ready for bed, I run and I jump like this so that the monsters can help me jump so that, you know, monsters under your bed can't, like, reach out at your feet and grab you under and suck you in to their weird vortex. Don't ask me why I sometimes do that. Don't ask me why I used to do that, because I have no freaking idea. When I was little, this is probably the worst thing I've ever done. Um, middle of the night, and I'm half asleep, half awake. Um, I'm not the smartest person in the world. What I did was... I drank dish liquid or cleaning stuff. It was Mr. Clean. I remember that. It was in a bottle like yay big. Yellow. I don't know if anybody else has seen them, but yeah. It was Mr. Clean and it was yellow and it was all oily and stuff. And it was on top of my TV. And I was thirsty in the middle of the night. I thought it was a bottle of soda or something maybe. But I took it off my TV. I was like three feet tall. And it was like six feet up. <laughs> or maybe it seemed like that. I got chairs and everything. Instead of going downstairs getting a glass of water or waking my mother up, I actually climbed to the top just to get the Mr. Clean bottle and I drank it. I ran into my mom's room and said, I drank something bad. And she's like, What did you drink? What did you what happened? What what's wrong? Oh my gosh, you what is all over you? And so I led her back in my room and I showed her and the thing was spilled all over the floor. She's like, oh my goodness, poison control time. So I had to get, um, I don't know how she made me throw up. I think she got butter on a spoon, put some salt on it, and said to eat it. I remember bawling my eyes out. Just, she had to make me throw up, because, you know, that wouldn't be good for a three or four-year-old to be ingesting that. 
Another thing I did, it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to tell you anyways. I, when I was little, I had my favorite underwear, like, ever. It was the Cinderella kind, and I got them in a pack for Christmas or something. And, you know, I'm a little kid. I, I enjoy little princess underwear. <laughs> Not now. This year. Ew. Anyway, so, what I did was, I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and... I was just learning how to be potty trained. I remember this really clearly. And I accidentally flushed my Cinderella underwear down the toilet. So I ran in crying at like 3 a.m. to my mom's room. And I started bawling because my underwear was somewhere in the toilet system. Yeah, we couldn't find them anywhere. And I never saw them since. So now, every time we go across the river bridge from our house, we always joke, hey, whatever else is underwear is in there. And I'm like, I still miss them. But yeah, those are my childhood experiences, and I hope you enjoyed laughing at me. And have a good day. Bye.